um, Daniel chapter 4 and verse 8. <clears throat> um, the bishop had brought this out, and I just I want to make sure that I understand that it's what it's referring to when it's like in its actual proper context. All right, the book of Daniel chapter 4 and verse 8. But at the last, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God, in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And before him, I told the dream, saying, you want me to keep reading? Uh, no, so, so my, my, well, not necessarily my question, but I wanted to confirm that the brother that's speaking, he believed in, um, he believed in the idols, like the other guys, because he's, he's referring to the spirit of the of the holy gods, right, with, with the lowercase g, and it says gods with an S. Mm -hmm. So he, he's 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 mistaking um oh he, he he's he's claiming the spirit that Daniel has is from the other gods, but what he's not understanding is that it's from the most high God. Um no. He's he's understanding that we have we have power, right? Tell me who the, the, let me see, how do I say this without giving it away? Because I want you to think in and on this. Um, so there was, in his, in his, uh, he had captive three what? Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Um, he had, um, uh, in, he three? had, in, uh, uh, Daniel, uh, -huh. uh Hananiah, and, um, Mishael. And what did he call them? Uh, he called uh, Daniel uh, Belshazzar. He what did he H call them as a group, as a collective? Uh, servants. Three holy children. Oh, okay, understood. That's what he called them. They were the three holy children. They were not like, oh, go back to chapter one, just so you got some, some context, some backdrop. Re start at verse one. The book of Daniel, chapter one and verse one. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, King of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto him, Ashpenaz, the, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed of the princes, Children in whom was no blemish. So it says, children in whom was no blemish. Read. But well favored. But well favored. That doesn't mean everybody liked them. They friends with everybody. They cool. That's not what that means. That means that they're, um, they're a precious commodity. Everybody wants them for something that they have. Read on. And skillful in all wisdom. And skillful in all wisdom. Some of this, or this wisdom, namely, is what Bishop was going into, right? In Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14, and Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, it's talking in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1. That's the wisdom, power of the Holy Spirit. Read on. And cunning in knowledge and, and understanding. And cunning in knowledge and understanding. They, so they had what now? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like we read about, let me get it. And Sirach 11. Sirach 11. Is it Sirach 11? Yes, sir. I believe so. Sirach 11 and 13, 15. Yes, sir. Read that. So this is not just talking about, you know, they was the best at hopscotch. You know, you could, you could tell them who's going to win the, you know, who, who you think going to win the horse race. And they win your money every time. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the wisdom of God. Go ahead, read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law. Of what? Of the law. So that's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you read about in the book of Daniels. Go ahead. Our Lord, love and the way of good works uh -huh. are from him. All right. Go back to um, Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored. And skillful in all wisdom. So this blemish ain't talking about they didn't have no pimples. They didn't have no scratches. They didn't, that's not what it's talking about. It says, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored. But well favored. That means that they had no stain on their name. All that was said about these children was how wise they are. How great, how knowledgeable, how, how uh, understanding they are. Right? Go ahead. And skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science. 
and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. They were so wise as children, as children, right? That they could stand in the king's palace and counsel the king. Remember, he's talking to the eunuch of the, I mean, the, 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 uh, the, the charge, what's his name? The, um, Prince of the, eunuch. the master of the eunuchs. Yes. The ma you know what the eunuchs is, right? The wise men of the king. They are who counsels the king. We read in Judith chapter 5, verse 20, about how to destroy Israel. Those were eunuchs speaking to that general, telling him, listen, this is what we got to do to overcome them. But it's impossible to overcome them of this. So this is what you do in this case. This is what you don't do, X, Y, and Z. Those were eunuchs. Well, these were little children. These were young men and wise and skilled, cunning, and under in, 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 in knowledge and understanding. Uh, go ahead. And whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Right. So now, why would they teach them the learning and the tongues of the Chaldeans? To counsel them. That's why. To counsel them. Go ahead. Uh, go down. Uh, read on. Verse 5. And the king appointed no, them. No, no, no. That's it. Uh, jump, to, jump to verse 6. Verse 6. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Those are your three holy children. All right. Those are your three holy children. So the king identified and recognized that they, the, the, the God that we serve, that Israel serve, is the holy God. That's the God where all the – there was no nation that didn't know about what happened in Egypt. All nations knew about that. There was no nation that didn't know about all the miracles that, that happened even after we left Egypt, right? What happened to the Babylon, the Persians before um, – I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the Babylon, the Assyrians before them, the Persians before them. Right. How they how the Lord stopped the water, all type of stuff. They heard about they known and were renowned. Our Lord and the things, the miracles that was done amongst us was renowned among all nations. Everybody knew about it. Everybody knew about it. Were they wicked? Yeah. So they, they say, well, you know, like some of us in here, you know, you just got to show me. You say you can whoop on me. You got to I, I got to see it. You know what I mean? This so Nebuchadnezzar was no different. He conquered, um, uh, uh, who, Assyria, he conquered the known world at the time, including Assyria, right? He conquered everything. So the last on his list, the Israelites. The Israelites, all right? Um, jump down to verse, verse 17. I'm going to prove that the nations knew about it, that the, the wisdom of God was with them. The book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 17. As for these four children... God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. So this is, this is the, the Babylonians conf or, or uh, detail or, 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 uh, account. Converse or account of the children whose charge he has or who, who was under his charge, right? He's telling them, look, king, listen, it's these three children. They holy. They, 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 they not like regular people. They can deal with your dream that you that you have and the problem that you having, right? Read on. Verse 18. Now at the end of the days that the king has said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Right. So by the time we get to jump over back over to where we were, uh, chapter four. Yes, we're in four, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, four and uh eight. Eight. The book of so Daniel. by the time we get over here, it's established. They know who these people are. They've already determined dreams. We're skipping a lot of history, but they told he told him his dream before. He already told him his dream in, in chapter uh, another. It was another time uh, in chapter two and uh, really the better part of the end of it. So thirty six all the way down to thirty forty nine. He's explaining to him his dream that he didn't even have to tell him happened. You understand? So by the time we get to chapter four, he's he need to it, he has to do it again. Our confusion or our perplexity, a if you don't you correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of times when we read in the scripture, we like how the hell do you understand somebody is like of the Lord, like they like miraculous, and then you like you and you like them, and then you go back to hating them, and then you go back to liking them, and then you go back and you forgot again who who they were, right? Well, that's my perplexity, like Saul and David, right? Saul forgave David multiple times, and David 
forgave Saul multiple times, and he said, right. you with me? Understood, yes, sir. Okay, right, so that's our perplexity, but that's what's going on. He the wicked, bro. He's, he's only going to do wicked. That's all he's going to do. So he is going to go back and forth until the Lord puts him to death. Right? Understood. Um, read his question, his original question again, though. Uh, verse 8. Yeah. But at the last, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, and before him I told the dream, saying. So, so essentially, he, he, he knew that this wasn't uh, the spirits that came from the idols. He knew it was, you know, the one yeah. true God. But, you know, like you yeah. said, he's just going back and forth. Like, you know, because he's the wicked, he's going to say that it's from, you know, these other idols. But he know that it's from the one true God. Is that what you're no, saying? He ain't, no, he's not going to say they from the idols or any power. that. What, what also happened here? The three holy children had not burned in the furnace that he said, but he burn it up. He lost three people. Whereas in the three holy children were not burned. That that's that's history at this point. That already happened. So he's seen, yo, these people don't burn in fire. He under plainly, it's not just, wow, they 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 know a lot and they smart and they cunning and crafty. No, he like, yo, they don't fire don't burn them. Um can, can, can I ask my question one more time? Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I'm not saying it clear. So verse 8 says, But at the last Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belshazzar, according to the name of my God. So Belshazzar was an idol, and uh, Daniel was named after that God. Am I okay. co correct? Or? Right, okay. Uh, so my, my, conf my point is... Um, and in whom is on, the spirit gonna... of the holy gods? Is, is he referring to, like, the holy gods? Because it's, it's a lowercase g with an S. Is he referring to uh, the other gods, like the idols? But we understand. No. Okay. He's not. That's not, that's not what he's referring to. Uh, let, me, let me see. Let me go. Because this what you're talking about. Oh, uh, let me see. I'm going to show you. Um, watch this, read verse 2. Now, this is not Daniel or Belteshazzar. This is Nebuchadnezzar's account. Read verse 2 in chapter 4. The book of Daniel, chapter 4, and verse 2. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God had wrought toward me. How great are his signs and his mighty, I'm sorry, and how his mighty, I'm sorry, and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in mine house and flourishing in my palace. So who is he talking about? The high God. With the uh, uppercase G. Yeah, the most high God. The most high God. Our God, right? Yes, sir. Right. Read on. We're going to read all the way down to 8. Verse so You five. understand the context of the lowercase G in verse 8. Verse 5. I saw in a dream. I, I'm sorry. I saw a dream which made me afraid. And the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore, I made, made I a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me that they might make known unto me the interpretation of the dream. Then came in the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And I told the dream before them, but they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But at the last, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar. So, so the astrologer, all of, ba of Babylon could not accomplish what he needed, Right. So, yes. so Babylon and all their pop just put we can check them out the box. This Babylon, and all, we just pushed them over there. They out of the picture now, right? Go ahead. According to the name of my God, come on. And in whom is the spirit of the holy gods? And before him, I told the dream, saying, "O Belshazzar." So remember, who did he call the high God in verse two? The Most High God. The Most High God. Okay. The Most High God. So, so who is he calling all the high gods in, in, in I mean, 
all the gods in verse eight. The uh, the, the spirit of the holy gods. You're right. I, I'm not. I'm not for sure. He's talking about. He's he's talking about every god that he knows of, and that, the power that his magicians out of the picture. All that they got. This guy. This this Daniel. This guy. He's got all their power, plus the high god's power in him. You understand that that's what's being said there. So he's basically saying, now I know he's more powerful. He got day power, the the Babylonian the Babylonian gods power, the the other all the everything power in him. That's why he called high god uh, or the real god, the living god, a high god in verse 2. Understood. You you follow? I understand. I understand now. Right. So so uh the holy gods is all the Say it one more time. I'm sorry. Can, can you conclude that for me one more time? Oh, the, the holy gods in verse 8 is all gods. Everything he knows. Okay, understood. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.